Hello everyone, welcome to brand new video series on packaging design. In this whole series, I will show you step-by-step -step process of creating a perfume packaging box, starting from measurements to printing tips. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from my channel. You can check my freelancing services related to product packaging design by going to the link given in the description. In this video, we will create the packaging box style line of a perfume box from Basic. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Don't forget to share your reviews about this course. Let's get started. Here you can see that we have an empty perfume bottle for which we will create the design. Our first step would be the measurements of this bottle. You have to measure the length, width, and height of this bottle by using a scale. So, I have taken the measurements. While creating a packaging box for this bottle or any product, make sure that its size should be higher than the original product. In this case, we will take these measurements for our packaging box and create a dial line. Now let's start to create the dial line. Open your Adobe Illustrator and click on this Create a New button. A pop-up window will appear. First of all, give a name to your file. We will start with this A4 paper size. Later on, you can increase and decrease the size of this artboard. Now, choose CMYK color mode. Click on this Create button. Select this rectangle tool and create a rectangle. Go to the File menu and choose the Document Setup option. Here you can select the units. For this video, we will work with centimeters. Now put your length as 8 cm and height as 14 cm. By holding the Alt and Shift key drag this rectangle to create a copy. Make sure that both lines are connected. Press Ctrl plus Y and zoom in to check whether these are linked or not. Here you can see that both rectangles are perfectly connected. Now, I have disconnected both these lines. Right now, you will be unable to see the difference. When you go to the wild frame mode and by zooming in, you can see that these lines are connected. So, we will connect them. Always make sure that all the lines are well connected, otherwise you will face problems in the printing process. Now we will change its measurements. Always select the respective reference point while changing the length, width and height. As you can see that our artboard size is small enough to create the design, so we will increase the size of our artboard. Press Shift plus zero and our artboard will be selected. Now resize it. Right, now turn off the fill color and change the outline color to red. Now create a copy of this rectangle by holding the Alt and Shift key and moving to the left side. Make sure that lines are well adjusted. Now select this rectangle and create a copy of it. Again select this rectangle and create another copy of it. This will work as a tuck or closing flap. Its standard width is taken as 1.5 cm. Now, 
Go to the Edit menu, choose Preferences, and give the keyboard increment to 0.5 cm. Select this Direct Selection tool and click on the corners. Click the arrow down key once. Similarly, repeat this process for the bottom corner as well. Perfect. Here you can analyze how this flap will work in the final stage. Now select this rectangle and decrease its width a little bit, let's say 0.01 cm. Select this rectangle and create a copy of it. Change its height equal to the width of this rectangle. Create another copy of this rectangle. and change its height to 1.5 cm. Select this rectangle and choose the Direct Selection tool. Select these inner corners by holding the Shift key and dragging them inside. Great! Now we'll create the tuck flaps. Select this rectangle and create a copy. Now drag down this rectangle equal to this rectangle. Change its height further to 3 centimeters. You can adjust this height according to your choice. We will give this rectangle a beautiful shape. Double click on this rectangle to lock all other layers. Here you can see that all other layers are locked now. Select Add Anchor Point Pen Tool. Add one horizontally anchor point on both sides. Add the second anchor point to this one. Here you can see the added anchor points. Choose the Direct Selection tool and only select this area carefully. Click on the anchor point and drag it a little bit to the left side. Now click on this anchor point, and by holding the shift key drag it a little bit to the right side. Select this anchor point and drag it a little bit. Perfect! You can see a decent looking flap. Double click here to unlock all the other layers. Now change its width a little bit so that it can fit properly. Here you observe the change. Select this flap and create a copy of it. Right click on it. Choose the Transform option and reflect it to the vertical side. Here you can see that our rectangle is a little bit of the design. So select both flaps. Go to Align option and choose this Horizontal Align option. 
Here you can see that it is still not connected with the below flap. So, we will decrease the width of the above flap a little bit to make it adjacent. Now you can see the difference. Select these flaps and create a copy by dragging them to the bottom. By holding the shift key, flip and adjust them. Select these flaps and create a copy by dragging them to the bottom. Now reflect these flaps by going to the Transform option. Select this flap and reflect it to the vertical. Select the second flap and reflect it to the vertical as well. As you can see that this flap is not adjusted, so we will fix it. Select these flaps and align them horizontally. Now we will decrease its width a little bit to give a gap. Here you can see that our die line is ready. You can check that all lines are well connected. You can also confirm all the sizes. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to share your reviews about this course. See you in my next video. Don't forget to check out my website for freelancing services and discounts. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment box. See you in my next video with more exciting stuff.